Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exo Force review, and but otherwise also my very last LEGO Exo Force review. Well, will I do any others in the future? Well, maybe. Well, we'll see. Really, also it's been a good run reviewing most of these sets, of course. But yeah, but more of that later. But this one's on the the Storm Lasher and Hybrid Rescue Tank from 2008. So on the front of each instruction manual of which have the LEGO Exoforce logos, picture of the sets in the jungle, that, and yes, jungle that's at the bottom of Sentai Mountain, of course, and anime style renderings of each character in the corner, and also some writing down below and the set numbers. Just for Storm Lasher, have that, of course, on the back. How to win on the online survey. And then some nice artwork of most of the sets in action. Application for LEGO Club. And advertisement for LEGO Club. And also how to deploy the mini robot. And add a vault sets from the time. And then all the pieces that come with the set and the last steps. And as for Rescue Tank, which comes with two manuals here. Let's back first one, same advertisement. Also, anime renderings of all the characters, of course, and then all the pieces that come with the set. steps. And now on to the mini base including so we which have Rio which kind of a little updated version of him. Like the armor bit of which, and also the white striping or white pattern of which kind of exclusive to this set, of course, but and also face printing and hair piece, same as he's had in the first two years, of course. And on to a Sensei Keiken, of which kind of the same as we had in the Sentai Mountain set, of which Oh, and I was kind of crazy as that set of which was hundred dollars, but this set of which forty. It's a quite cheaper alternative way to getting him, of course. But then the Iron Drone Devastator robot, or Devastator, or just Devastator. But yeah, of which kind of just about the same as that came in lot most of the sets, of course. And on the back side of which. Not at all me back torso printing, but however, the double side faces of both, of which same as from the previous years, of course. But aside from that, and that is about it with the mini fig selection, of course. Now, on to the first two of the bill. Which being the Storm Lasher. Storm Lasher, yeah. Which has the quite insect like, sort of like, since of course the jungle theme here. And also kind of neat, consistent color scheme of black and yellow, obviously. 
angle. And one thing that might strike you from first glance is these like little turbine kind of pieces, which made of like a whole lot of these like joint kind of pieces. So at least it's kind of a part good parts pack with all of these pieces and with yellow tiles on them. And of course, technic bits that go in the center, and also do get a lot of the dagger sword pieces in that acting as the blades. And also, like, and of course, have these uh, technic bits on the bomb where you can turn it to make them spin, of course. And also, as for this front section, which has a quite similar uh, canopy piece like we saw in most sets, but with a couple of different stickers on, one of which a little code that's used for the website, which no longer active again. And you can like flip it right open, and there's a few studs on there, enough to sit, sit your iron drone on there, of course, and close them up like so. And also, do get the Bonkle Baraki uh, Mantax claw pieces in yellow, which I think were probably first time exclusive to this set, but then came in uh, the Hero Factory villain Meltdown two years later. There for that, but also on both sides of which, which you get a couple of missile bits of which that you can just detach for that, and also these Technic. Uh, Make pins there, which are like on Bongo Hordika neck pieces and are on ball joint and so to point however you want it. And that's for the like top section above, which consists of mostly the uh, car exhaust kind of pieces on there, and also with a tile piece that sort of symbol that's actually the set numbering and also a one of the vent pieces and also curved slope with a little sticker on it and as for this back side of which is just like we had with the sonic phantom and sonic raven where he has a few technique pieces acting as a handle and as for and of course does uh, work quite well for that, but also these turbine pieces are on ratcheted ball joints and so you can like rotate them however you want it, but upwards I think is probably the rifle landing position of them. Most of these back tail bits is kind of what has like we got in most of the previous sets of which with a uh, sticker on it of course. And also, as for the, like, this one part of which, which you can take right off, and it's the uh, mini robot build. And as for this switch, probably the one out of this whole wave with the most pieces is used in it. And like the Dark Panther uh, small build has the, like, spider leg kind of effect to it, but instead of being all six legs the same, but the back legs of which do you have the like fine pieces in black, nice to see there. And also good to see a lot of these kind of pieces in a, tr a clear, great for mocking, and also one of these spike pieces in black and yellow, nice to see. And also for the eyes consisting of the like technic ball joints in lime green. When, at least like we saw on the 2007 uh, Star Wars Y Wing, of course. But aside from that, small build, but nicely well effective, of course. Thing. And that is that. It with Storm Lasher. And now, uh, let me move this out. Onto the rescue tank, of course, which from first glance quite large for how it is. Well, since it, for this being a forty dollars set at the time, at least has plenty to offer, of course.
Oh, okay. So, uh, although this image kind of goes off in two sections, which slips off quite easily, and we'll look at both in different ways, of course. For this bottom half of which, which consists of mainly these large treads that there are, and as you can see, a lot of technic beaming you know, going the whole way back, and for the, as you can see, large curved slopes with of large stickers on them, and also in the far back do have this uh, large wheel and tire kind of piece, and they do roll quite well. Uh, and also do get one of them like rod bits onto there with a slope on it, and they which are on a, uh, a Bonicle Hero Factory ball joint on it to turn around and shoot from different ways. And as for this upper section, or this, as, from, as you see, have a lot of stickers on it, and sorry if they're kind of uh, ripped and fading, but it's just kind of how I got them off Bricklink, but yours can be a little different, but yeah. And also this top section, which does, is kind of a car hood piece, also with a sticker on it. And uh, so, get one, get like a little gun turret built to it. And what this black gear piece is for is, oh, actually this one's for the top uh, two blasters on top. But also one neat thing is, it actually is, if you like move this, the tread bits, then that moves the turrets around. Kind of fun how that is. But also, like we saw with the Chameleon Tiger build, which is this campy piece, but upside down for that. But which you can flip open, and as on the cover, so which shows a sensei cake in, in it, of course. And it covers him like so. The other side of which, kind of the same as the other side, but without the gear bit. And also, not at all any friction with this, it rolls quite well. And now onto the other uh, build of which this top half kind of a uh, drone build or whatever. As, which, as you can see, a little more of those like Technic bits onto them, and, but with clear orange clear yellow uh, cone pieces on there. And also a couple more uh, Bonacle Hurtika necks, but that are also used as blasters, of course. And also with Bonacle Baraki eye pieces on top of these cones for the mix for the missiles. So, cause, so of course, this is the only time this piece has ever been used in the, the line, of course. So kind of neat to see there and of course backside which ending off with a couple more long uh, curved slopes of course and backside which a, a round tile with a sticker on acting as a thrust to it and also to the uh, and also the uh, main one of the main features of this is you can like rotate these out and also fold those out and got extra firepower from this uh, ship, of course. And as for this campy kind of piece, which is kind of hard to get to, but with the mini robot in the way. Although kind of hard to get off of there, but if you do quite well, you can get it off of there. And, and now you can get right to it. Which, as you can see, quite a lot of empty space in there. And the bow droid arm holding a, like, holding handlebar pieces and enough room to uh, sit to Rio into and have him steer or drive it, of course. And fits over him nicely. And 
going to ask for the mini robot that is included, which is quite similar to the ones that came with both Assault Tiger and Hunt Chameleon Hunter, of course. But also, it's, but also does have the little fin-like or fin or tail fin pieces, but used in but on the side, so which kind of interesting. And also does have with one of the megaphone with the with another one of those like with the of the cone or I mean cylinders in trans yellow, of course. And like we have with the other sets of which those uh, technic ball joints in lime green. Maybe in, in, in this case probably used as like extra tanks or something, but whatever. And also little gear piece um, holding all of that on and also T-bars with the uh, Devastator robot arms on there. But also to get and for the articulation of it, you get two points of movement for the arms and also with the wrists and also the legs and that's it. Now as for the rescue tank itself, where with this hole right on here attaches to the rod here and slips on quite easily. And so now, on to the final verdict. So my overall verdict, well, I think these are which uh, quite cool sets for how they are. Like for rescue tank, of which at least you get two consistent builds for the forty dollar price point that it was back then in two thousand eight. But as for well, it also do get a few nice pieces with like the wheel and the treads, of course. They asked for a storm lasher, which good consistent color scheme of uh, yellow and black, and also also acts as a good parts pack with a lot of the like sword pieces and everything, and also the uh, clear uh, wing pieces for the mini robot build as well, of course. So these sets are also workable as good parts pack, so with like for Technic bits and the treads and whatnot. But also these which at least they were also quite good deals for how they were for in two thousand eight, but although nowadays for something this large probably be forty, but or nowadays something at twenty is a lot smaller, obviously. So they're kind of a sign of the times, of course. But also as for but whereas for Again, with Rescue Titan, at least getting Sensei Kaken in a cheaper set, great. And, but yeah. And all of which could have happened in other sets, but I can still forgive it, but yeah. And also with this being my in the very last, or my last LEGO Exo Force review, now, will I ever do any others in the future? Possibly, but... Yeah, of course, we'll see what happens, but yeah. And also, and so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.